Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on selecting a random sample using SPSS. Oftentimes in counseling research, we want to draw a random sample from a range. And to demonstrate how to do that, I've generated these fictitious data in the data editor. I have an ID variable, two independent variables, program and gender, and two dependent variables, functioning and motivation. So let's say in this case we want to select a random sample of the participants and they're represented by the ID number. And we have ID number 1001 all the way through 1120, so 120 participants in this study. So go to data and then down to select cases. From the select cases dialog you can see by default in this select frame all cases is the option that's checked off so all the cases are now available and we have different ways that we can select cases we have the if condition is satisfied random sample of cases based on time or case range and we can use a filter variable so I'm going to go to random sample of cases I'll click sample and you can see here there are two options under sample size approximately a percent of all the cases. So you enter that percent here or exactly a number of cases from the first number of cases you specify. So let's use the approximately percent of all cases first. So say we want to select half the participants. That'd be 50 percent of all cases. Click continue and then before clicking OK make sure you have the output the way you want it. By default it's simply going to filter out unselected cases. You can also copy the selected cases to a new data set or delete unselected cases. So you'd want to make sure you have a backup of your data before using this last one. The most common one to use would be the filter out unselected cases because it's easy to go back and change the filter if you want a different selection. So I'm going to click OK with that output and you can see that it creates a new variable filter underscore dollar sign and when this has a value of zero that case was not selected in this case you can see there's a for case one there's a line through the one here for the row two was also not selected case three was and you can see there's a one here in the filter variable so if I were to run analysis now it would not take into account any of these records to have the line through them. Only the selected cases, only the cases that have a one here would be used. So if I go back into data and select cases and I run this again, again with 50% of all cases selected, notice that I have a different random sample. This variable is overwritten. So this runs the process again but a second filter is not created. You only have the one filter. Now using the other method, go back into data select cases, random sample, except this time I'm going to use the exactly method. So I can choose exactly, let's say 30 cases from the first 80 cases. So in this case that would include the individual level of the independent variable program and the group level of the independent variable program. So I continue and then OK. So you can see that 30 cases were selected from the first 80 records. But then if you look at the records from 81 on, no cases were selected from those values. To delete this filter, you can just right click on the filter variable and select clear. Moving back to data and select cases, you can see of course we're using the random sample. You also have the option here if a condition is satisfied. For example, you could specify if program equals individual. That's just going to select those cases. That will not be random. The same thing for based on time or case range. You can put first case and last case. Let's say we want cases 10 through 20. This is not random. 
we'll get exactly cases 10 through 20. And notice here there's no filter variable that's created for this. If I move up here to the A1 and look at the codes behind the string values, you can see for the individual level of the program independent variable, it's coded as a zero. And for gender, male is coded as zero and female is coded as one. It's important to understand the codes behind the variables for the last selection method, which is to use a filter variable. So go back to data and then select cases. I'm just going to reset and I'm going to use a filter variable here and it's going to be program. And then click OK. And you can see now the individual level of the independent variable program. All those values are not selected. And then all the values for program that have a one or greater are selected. So if I did the same thing, went back to data, select cases and used instead of the program independent variable, the independent variable gender and clicked OK. You could see that in this case, all of the records for the male participants are not selected and all the records for the female participants are selected. So the level of the independent variable that's coded to zero will not be selected and all the other levels will be selected. To reset this, you just go back to data, select cases and click reset. It's going to go back to default, which is all cases and click OK and now all the cases are available again. I hope you found this video on selecting a random sample using SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.